You have, you have made the claim. You have made the claim. You have made the claim that Western law is built on Sharia law, but you've provided no evidence. Because when I did, you started to scream something different. And that's well, get it out. Get it out. I already got it out, but then I returned it because you are a bait to ignore it. You know what the reality is? You don't have any evidence. I actually do, and I have Correct. Go on then. What is the evidence? Right. Let, let, let her show us the evidence. Go on. Here's one of the articles that I meant by Okay, it. right. It's a research that I've done in the Netherlands University show. I did that yeah. by Dr. Yeah. Baker, Dr. Jingring and Famuk. Yeah. All Dutch researchers. Dutch, yeah. not Muslim. Dutch researchers that even pull and type those points. So what, what's the evidence? Are they, are they better what, what's than the evidence? Bukhari? What's the evidence? Are they better than Bukhari? Okay. Okay. Are they better than Bukhari? Don't Let me answer your talk. question. If you want to say... Those yes. doctors are better than Bukhari. Are, are you saying this? There's, there's, there's two conversations going on here. Yeah. The, first, the first conversation is whether um, Western law is built on Islamic law, to which we have still not seen any evidence at all. The second, the second conversation that's going on here is, is Western law superior to Islamic law for which we have seen evidence? We've seen evidence that Western law is distinct from Islamic law, and we've seen evidence that Western law is superior to Islamic law, but we have seen zero evidence, not a word of evidence, showing that uh, Western law is built on Sharia law. I literally just showed you. No, you didn't. You didn't. You just quoted. You just gave three names of doctors. No, not even three. What, what, what's the paper? What's, what, what's the article? Right. So here it is. The article is not entitled. So you hold the phone if you want to. The article is titled. Sharia law in the Netherlands. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Does that state okay. that That's Western stupid. law is built on Sharia? Yes. Go, show, show me. Show, show us. Show us the paragraph. Show, show us the evidence. And he's Not wrong. a statement or a belief, but the evidence. The evidence. Not a statement of belief. Evidence. Give her a chance. Give her a chance. That the laws are she's looking. Yeah. I gave him the sources. The she number, didn't. You made, you made a claim. Where he gets from? You made a claim. Who who created one, two, three, four? Oh, this four. this uh, article. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I gave him the names. He already seen it. But it's a who? Instead of what he did, he just called. All you've done, all you've, you've done is quote the title of an article, no, no, the name of some doctors, but you've given zero evidence. Sharia is an abstract concept for which we found a description of proper is a claimed behavior. Okay. Okay? Yep. Closely captured, most respondent understanding. Yeah. Many Muslims in the Netherlands hardly reflect on the correct and inconsistency because we are imperfect people. Okay? Okay. I'm very thirsty, but okay. Um, when we... Uh, hey. What? I'm flirting out loud, sir. It's all right. Um, You're doing well, by the way. Yeah. You're doing well. Yeah, thanks. Is this your first time in Speaker's Corner? Yeah. Right. I'm actually. Left so it's, a, it's a heated okay. environment. Carry on. Go on. Yeah, let you let you get let you get to let you get your evidence. Very bad conversation, but okay. Let, let, let you get to your evidence. Um, wait, this is talking something different. Sorry. Da, 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 da. Okay. There is no, there is no point trying, there is no. Wait, wait, wait. Just, you know, but... Combination of three aspects is quite possible and likely occurs when often our students' application is in simple aspects. Imams and others also in Islam indicate that they prefer to settle than... Ali, come here. Madam, let me hold my microphone to your mouth so that we catch your voice. Go on. Fair enough. Um, I just wanted to make sure you were heard. I'm, no, it doesn't matter. But I'm actually, uh, I'm, the removal of numerous parties are within the process, yep. and even right. after this uh, World War II, when the laws were very weak, they used upon the rules upon Sharia too. That's a statement. Where's the evidence? Are you blind? No, that's just a statement. Nah, that's, that's, that's how you work. Yeah, that's an opinion. No, no, no. This is an actual article. An opinion no, of no, no. an article is not this a is fact. This is not how this conversation works. You don't show weird ass dumb ass screenshots and tell me that's a fact and then when I tell you an actual yeah. article and then show me that's a fact, there's not a fact. But this is a flawed logic. Yeah, that mean I'm right on yeah. I can write an essay, miss. Madam, I can, madam, madam, when I was at university, right, as an undergraduate, of course, I wrote many an essay. This is an essay of scholars. 
all that that is, all that it's it's just an article of scholars, (laughs) it doesn't prove it. If I make a statement, the statement is not a fact just because I put it in an article. But that's your logic. You're essentially saying, because of the opinion of some scholars. Ali, 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 Ali. So. Ali came to rescue you. Ali came to rescue you. Ali came to rescue you. Madam, I heard you speak in Arabic. Are you speaking Arabic? Are you an Arabic speaker? Ali is here to rescue. No, no, no. Ali, Ali, Ali. Ali. So when I come and interrupt your conversations, you won't be complaining, will you? I will say one thing so, and then I'll be because I have a flight. Okay, I'd like to give you a gift for your flight. You don't want the gift. You don't want the gift. No, I don't actually Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, I will say one thing. Go on. If you want to know the facts, yeah. give me right sources first of all. Don't make statements. If I gave you... No, no, no. If I gave you a peer-reviewed so article... Right if I gave you a peer... No, wait a second. I will make my final statement, sir. Yeah. If I gave you a peer-reviewed article done by not one, three, but it's like six doctors... They're opinions. <laughs> Opinions. They are. <laughs> Your life is an opinion, that's I guess. Yeah. Time. That's, that's right. just an opinion. Hey, sir, we're that's ending That's just an opinion. Nah, nah, your life that's is just an opinion. So, so what we, what we, what we saw, ladies and gentlemen, what did we see? Don't run Muslim. We saw arrogance and ignorance on display. Muslims come here. The arrogance and the ignorance combined has actually led someone to make the preposterous claim that European law is based upon Sharia law. That Napoleon went to Egypt, took Sharia law back to Europe and then spread it around Europe. This demonstrates a fundamental ignorance and arrogance of some Muslim commentators. And what is it based on? It's based upon the opinions of some academics from the Netherlands. As if, as if every European is suddenly ignorant of our own history. As if every European is suddenly ignorant of our own legal tradition. English legal tradition was built upon the idea of common law instituted by Alfred the Great, who was inspired by the Bible in the writing of his laws. European law up to the time of the Enlightenment was equally inspired by the Christian faith. At the Enlightenment, there was a rupture in our legal history. A rupture that redefined the way that the citizen and new invention related to the state in the French Republic. And those ideas were pressed around Europe from the time of Napoleon forward. Islamic law and Christian law are very different. Let me give you some examples. In Christian law, adoption is a legal entity. And we Christians are proud of that. It gives dignity to orphans. In Islam, adoption does not exist. It means that children do not receive the dignity of being received into a family other than as someone who's been taken care of by a caretaker. In Christian law, men and women are equal in marriage. One man, one woman. But in Islamic law, one man can marry up to four women. That means that there is an unfairness to women in Islamic law that Christian law does not fall into. In Christian law, there is the idea that the church and the state operate as separate entities. 
that Christians operate in the secular world and Christians operate in the religious world. This is the fundamental principle of every Western constitution from America to Poland to Russia. Why? Why? Because of the Christian basis of our understanding of law. Right. It was a new invention that entered into Europe, changing the, the format of Roman law. This distinction does not exist in Islamic law. Nothing. In Islamic law, yeah. I, as a Christian, would be treated as a second class citizen in Sharia law. What does that mean, Bob? It would mean that if I was killed, yeah. the blood money paid to my family would be half that of the blood money paid if I was killed as a Muslim. Oh. It means that as a Christian, yeah. I would not be fully able to practice my faith under Sharia law. Western media yeah. and Western politicians yeah. and Western celebrities yeah. are virtue signaling to us when they say that all religions teach the same and that all religions act the same. The reality is that is a lie. If you don't believe me, go and look at the government, Her Majesty's government website about the laws in Saudi Arabia and you will see the witness of your own government telling you that Christians do not have equal rights in an Islamic society. In Islam, there are sources that show that female genital mutilation is halal. We read it here in this debate. In the Christian faith, all genital, genital mutilation of children is done away with. There are real differences to your society that are the fruit of the religion that you follow. And it is time that we in the West rediscover our confidence, our conviction and our commitment to our own tradition and our own Christian worldview. Not just for the good of our lands, but for the good of the Muslim lands as well. Because Saudi Arabia would be better served and the Arabian people would be better served by laws built on the Christian tradition right. than under Sharia law. Right. Yes. Reclaim your confidence, reclaim your conviction, learn your history. Because if you don't, like you saw with that young lady, they will try to rewrite your history if you don't know your history. Any questions? Who? who? Uh, now, somehow, from my conversation, this brother said, somehow the Jews don't know their law. I don't know why we're talking about the Jews. It's got nothing to do with this conversation. But, but, but the lady, yeah. from that, I, I really felt sorry for her. In one way, I admire her, but at the same time, I felt sorry. She proved that what you were saying, that ignorance uh, and also arrogance. Yeah. She, 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 mm. well, she said that she was going to prove, uh, she, uh, prove uh, provide the uh, evidence, but she, she had she none. Yeah, she, she did. No? She did fail. So let me, let, me just, let me just bounce off what this brother's saying. Because the lady in question was convinced by a piece of propaganda. Now, I don't know why the propaganda was written, but what I do know is that all she did was quote the opinion of a scholar. So what? Opinions don't equal facts. And this is why I say always, 
that we in the West, and particularly Christians, we must contend for the narrative because there are enemies of our civilization. There are enemies of the church who are propagating their propaganda to diminish us, to weaken our solidarity, to weaken our identity. And if we are not fighting the intellectual battle, we will lose the culture war. Any other questions on the topic? Not a question. Any question on the topic? Any questions on the topic? Okay. Lady, go on, what's the question? On the topic. What's the topic? Yeah. <laughs> Something about Detroit. Something about Ukraine. Oh, is it no, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking oh, about, really we're talking yeah. about the fact that a Muslim made a claim. Oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah. No, he doesn't yeah. want to do that. Uh, on the qu on the topic, yeah. Uh, well, in terms of uh, authority, I mean, I think it's a problem with, uh, um, uh, let's just say, COVID in general. I think the, um, the, the, the trust in the science is, is very similar to this history. What do you think? Well, what, we've, what we see regularly in the park is a difference in the educational systems between West and East. In Western educational systems, we are taught how to think and how to analyse. One of the flaws of Eastern educational systems is that they are taught to repeat and not to question. And we see that again and again and again in the park by the Dai, the Muslim evangelists, who simply repeat what people like Zakia Naik say. And they've never stopped to check if what they have heard is actually true. And they rely on the fact that the person that they're repeating it to has never checked it themselves. We need to rediscover credibility and confidence in our own culture, which means that we actually check the claims that are being made about our civilization. And we check the claims that are being made about Islamic civilization. Because we will see time and time again the Dai in the park are lying. They are lying about history, they're lying about the Bible, and they're lying about the Christian faith. And you can simply check that by speaking to knowledgeable Christians and picking up a Bible yourself. Go on. Do you know why the war between Athens and Sparta started? No, I don't. Because the jury system on the court should have been paid, and Sparta said no, that the jury system should be a voluntary system. Therefore, the idea of the jury, which were ten men sitting in courts and making the judgment, was already well before Islam, i.e. in an ancient Greece. And I just want to point out why Michael is raising that point. Why, Bob? See because that. the only evidence yeah. that was produced by the Muslims in this discussion was simply yet another unsubstantiated claim. The claim that the West got the jury system from Islam. That's a total lie. The pagans of Greece, before the foundations of the church, were practicing the jury system. And we've seen this narrative again and again by Muslims. They claim that we in the West adopted Islam during the Renaissance, that it came from Islam, and that we took the Enlightenment from Islam. The reality is our civilization has its own history. And the Western progressive culture yeah. has made you ignorant of your own history. Yeah. It has made you ignorant of your own traditions, your own culture. And we've all developed a culture in the West where we feel embarrassed by the idea of learning about our own culture and our own identity. It's time we throw off such shame and we de rediscover a pride 
in our Judeo-Christian roots. Right. Any other questions on the topic? Don't be cold. Do you think that there's a complicity for within ourselves to be to take on the narrative of post-colonial guilt and a, like a you know that it's okay to, it's not okay but it's cult, cultural appropriation if one I don't know wears yeah. a Chinese dress but we don't mind denigrating our own culture to the point of non-existence. Yes, yeah, so it's a perfect question, a great question. <laughs> The great question that Kay asks is in the West, are we being indoctrinated to be ashamed of ourselves? And we are complicit because we simply accept the narrative given to us by our government and by the media and by the celebrities who are telling us in their little village that we should be ashamed of ourselves. That we should be ashamed of our Christian heritage. These cultural Marxist narratives are corrosive and destructive to our ability to stand against Islamization. Islamization is seeking to fill the void created by progressive ideology. And what is the best response to Islamization and the corrosive effects of liberal progressive thought? It is to rediscover a muscular Christian faith. 